The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the member for Chifley. Thanks, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. I uh, uh, note today a lot's been made about the front page of the Daily Telegraph when it comes to the vexed issue of Sydney's second airport. And a lot of people seem to suggest that the Prime Minister has decided that he um, has uh, picked up on the concerns of Western Sydney and that he will now consult with people uh, about the location of the second airport. Uh, I don't buy this for one minute. Uh, the Prime Minister is trying to extract himself and the government out of a, a home-baked mess, and that is that the people who within um, the coalition are spruiking for the creation of a second airport had been leaking and backgrounding for a solid period of time now about the fact that this airport would be constructed, even though last January the then opposition leader, now Prime Minister, said, and I quote, we have absolutely no plans for a second airport at Badgeries Creek. And then last week we saw the suggestion spl uh, splashed out across the papers that an airport decision would be made in Cabinet um, and it would be made this week. So to get himself out of it, the Prime Minister had to put together or cobble together this uh, uh, grouping of Western Sydney MPs that he was going to allegedly consult with about the airport. It's interesting that when in government Labor uh, under then Minister Albanese brought together a cross-party group to discuss the issue of airport needs. It was made up of members of the coalition and it was made up of members of Labor. And in this one, we have the Prime Minister bringing together uh, simply Liberal Party members uh, to be consulted with. And what's interesting is that one of the members that will be most affected by the proposed airport based on previous plans, the member for McMahon is not involved, but the member for Mitchell, who's at least three or four electorates away, has been brought in. 